Hi guys, good to see you in December. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winry Bellevue comments. This episode is going to be my last episode for 2023, as year is almost over, and next month we're going to be in 2024. This episode is going to be my national market update for all CL and all east side location, and I will highlight a little bit Matthew Gardner prediction, chief economist was Windermere about his thoughts, what's going to be happening in 2024 in residential market. Stay tuned with me and let's begin mortgage interest rates finally take a breather and they reduce from 8% to around 7% right now they hovering. We have a lot of good signals as the mortgage interest rates going to be reduced in 2024 and we will going to see rates below 7% in 2024. Next week going to be a very important week because we're going to receive new CPI report, new data from Federal Reserve. If Fed's not high rate next meeting, it's going to be a strong signal for our economy to introduce sales for lower mortgage interest rates in 2024. Month supply of inventory is very interesting graphs because you guys can see different colors. Orange is a seller's market between zero to two months inventory and balance market between two to four months. It's a green color. What we see at the end of 2023, we have more balance market. Mercer Island, West Bellevue, uh, we see in Inamcla, we see in South Seattle areas, we see in Taquila, we see in Renton. A lot of areas have currently between two to four months inventory, which is good for the buyers. Uh, we supposed to have more choices and we have a balanced market. I will start with sales this time and we'll use data available from last month, from November, but I will put those neighborhoods for you guys on the screen. Uh, we have medium sell price $944,000 and increase comparable to same time year ago for about 4%. 29% homes in sale neighborhoods sold about asking price, 19% homes in sale areas sold at asking price and 20% homes had price reduction before they are able to sell the property. You guys can in sales east side we have medium sell price last month was one million four hundred thousand dollars and increase comparable to same time year ago for about six percent in sales east side we have 1.6 month supply of inventory and it's pretty much average for last 10 years if you see this top graph that's what we're supposed to be have by end of the year this is very interesting 26% homes in sales east side sold above asking price and sold about 4% above asking price and 15% homes sold at asking price. So those listing agents just nail it and 26% homes sold below asking price. And let's dive in together more deeply in Bellevue because Bellevue is a totally different country. And I will divide Bellevue probably for West Bellevue and East Bellevue, it's just like, absolutely different locations and absolutely different price ranges. For West Bellevue, you guys can see with me on the screen right now, we have medium sell price $3,750,000 and increase comparable to same time last year for about 17%. We have 2.4 months supply of inventory, we have a balanced market and I want to show you guys a very interesting next slide. 23% of, of homes sold last month in West Bellevue, sold above asking price and sold for 8% above list price. Can you imagine this number? 8% from the medium sell price, $3,750,000. That's approximately $300,000 above asking price. Ouch, that's lots of money. West Bellevue, Houses selling about asking price selling approximately for three hundred thousand dollars more than list price. And speaking of East Bellevue, it's crossed from four or five highway location. In East Bellevue, we have medium sell price one million five hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and increase for nineteen percent year to date. And we have 1.5 month supply of inventory. It's more seller's market. And we have a little bit more homes sold comparable to West Bellevue because West Bellevue is very expensive. But you guys can see with me on the screen, uh, those markets are different market. And if you guys need to know information about your specific market, reach out to me. I will be glad to provide you this information because I have data for every city in King County and Snohomish County. And I can provide for you guys same slides you see with me right now for your location. 
And finally, you guys can see with me on the screen predictions from chief economist with Windermere, Matthew Gardner. I'm not going to go deeply to those 10 uh, predictions, but I will just highlight a couple of them. I think he's nailed it this year as well. It's the first one is very important. He canceled housing recession in 2024 and market will be really steady in 2024 with mortgage rates going to be about 6% by end of the year and more buyers going to be buy properties in 2024 but market will be tight with less inventory because a lot of sellers will be still in offense to lose very low mortgage interest rates and going to be keep those properties but it's going to be a big advantage for builders because uh, a very low supply of inventory going to be give builders a big advantage to sell new construction inventory and a lot of people will buy new construction homes in 2024. They also he predicts the prices most likely going to be higher than we see in April 2022. But prices will not be decreasing in 2023. But some of the country areas prices going to be modestly increased for about 1%. This is his prediction for 2024. I think he probably will be nailed this year. I have similar thoughts. It will be not easy year because the economy will be slowing down. Affordability will be big questions in a lot of new topics in 2024. And plus we have election year in 2024. There will be a lot of different stories. We'll see. But next year is promising with lower mortgage interest rate and more new construction homes available on the market and I think people who have families who like to raise kids in their own home going to be buy homes no matter what no matter what happen in the economy and some people will be maybe waiting for recession or maybe waiting for better rates and you know maybe maybe that's happen some days maybe not but life will continue going on regardless from needs and wants and thoughts we're going to be see what we're going to be see and we're gonna live this life together with that guys i want to wish you guys merry christmas happy new year happy holidays enjoy your time with your family enjoy those extra day offs you have available enjoy snow be outside breathe fresh air and we'll see you guys again in next year in 2024 with that guys have fantastic end of the year if any time you guys need help with real estate or need any advice, reach out to me. I'll be love to be your real estate resource.